Hey there everybody, welcome back. It feels like it's been forever since I've played this game. But welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Chill, No Man's Sky. So last time we went ahead and we almost finished the entire story pretty much. So what I think we're going to do, um, just for, you know, sake of getting something done this week in terms of No Man's Sky, I did unlock, where are they, where are they? Those are the portal glyphs, I don't need those. It's not what I need right now. It's not under equipment, is it? Yes, it is, I lied. It should be in here. Yes, the drives. So I need to install all these drives. I think I already have this one on. I need the Emerald drive. So that this way we can go up to green star systems and last but not least the red drive or the let me see this is the distance that's fine so what i need to do is yeah the emerald and the indium drives those are the ones i want to get to also pin that formula oh i can only pin one at a time okay so let's go back i want to Hit this. Bada bing. So we need we need cadmium first, which we can get in this star system, and then wiring looms. So let's see which planet that I have here. Ah, here we go. So let's go to the being watched star system. <clears throat> and does he exchange the stork system v5 yuki yukti Ruff. jesus i cannot read today are any of these red star systems pokach and being watched Hmm. <clears throat> if that's the case, I'm gonna need to hop into my starship. Yes, yeah, so we are using the floating Skylark at the moment. I don't think this has a warp drive though, does it? Oh, yes, it does. It just has no hyperdrive fuel. Ah, okay, I see. So what I want to do is summon. My T fighter. Let's go ahead and pop on into the T wing starfighter. <clears throat> oh, I have no fuel in this, but I do have plenty of uranium, so that's fine. Yes, and I do have hyperdrive fuel. Good, good. Let's fuel this up. Mm, bada boom. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulse engine's unavailable. That's fine. So now I need a red star system. Oh, is that a red star system or yellow? That's yellow. But this one is red. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll jump to this one and then I'll jump to the red one. Ha ha. Okay. So we're going to do a few jumps this episode. Hopefully everyone's, you know, uh, I would say like everyone's week has gone well this week. I am recording this a bit early. It is currently Thursday for me. So my week so far has been pretty good. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow, though. I really don't want to go to the job that I'm heading to. Data inject went... Wait, what? What? Uh... Oh. They left us. Duty bound to follow them. But I know where it will end. 
If you receive this, follow my coordinates and secure the site in case I don't make it back. Please. My starship processes coordinates from the stranger's message. Their transmission has decayed over time, but their location appears to be valid. Uh, what? Dreams of the Deep. Where? Target outside local star system. Great! I just kind of want to claim all these planets, though. Hmm. Let me see. Is there anything interesting? I'll claim an interesting one. Scalding. That's fine. Desolate. It means you're empty. Are you a glitch planet? Maybe. I don't know. Torrid planet. I'll come visit you again in a, in a little bit. Oh gosh. And a rocky planet. None of those planets interest me. A lifeless planet. Even better. Okay, I'm just curious. Let me pull up the galaxy map. Let me see where this other one is. Oh, so it's right next to me. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna go there real quick. Make a quick detour. It says water? That's strange. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow, unfortunately, but you do what you gotta do. Now, on the fun side, though, is November is almost here. It is almost time for me to build my computer. I am super excited. Okay. Transmission coordinates validated. Okay, so is it just, I'm going here? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Source unknown, again. More glyphs. <clears throat> A decaying nuclear planet, Jesus. But yeah, since November's almost here, I will be building my computer. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be doing water cooling this time around. I'll save that for another attempt on my computer building. However, what I will be doing is possibly going with the Ryzen 7 3800X rather than the 38, uh, 3700X like I was originally intending. And the reason for that being is, uh, oh, there is water on this planet. Wow, this is actually really pretty. Uh, the reason for that being is I found a good sale on it. <clears throat> not gonna name where, but it comes with the motherboard that I want. Now, originally I was also gonna do the Crosshair 8 formula, but if I don't have the extra cash to do the actual uh, water cooling and all that extra stuff to go with it, I'll just make it easier on myself. All right, let's see, what do you, what do you got? Log, 2015F, breach event. Plus 407 souls. If you are listening, you have likely found our final log. I leave this trace as a memory of my falling friends and a warning to others who may end up on our path. I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me, though I beg you, do not follow. The haunting transmission ends. I notice the stranger has left behind an upgrade module for the aeration membrane. Oh. I take the upgrade module. Its installation history contains serial numbers of its own starships. Perhaps I should follow. That's cool. Better underwater breathing. That's not the worst in the world. Yoink. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna head this way. <clears throat> That's not the button I meant to press. I can install the aeration membrane. Where's oxygen tanks? No, those are nitrogen tanks. All right, let's see, technology, hazards, cargo. I'll just put it in general, I guess. I don't know if it would technically connect to the life support. But I'm gonna find out. Oxygen recycler. There we go. Alright, let's see. Yeah, upgrade protection received. Yeah. 
So I need more space for that. In order to do so, I have no idea. Moon of Maimed 14. It's kind of cool. Aggressive Sentinels. That doesn't sound fun. But let's get back to what I was originally doing. Heading to a red moon. A red star system. So I need... Uh, long list every... The Purge. That's the mission I was doing. So now I need to enter the galaxy map again. Whoops. There we go. I know it says to go there, but this is along the way. So that's where I'm going. Oh, the star system looks pretty. Okay, data's unavailable. That's interesting. Incoming message frequency Apollo. What you want, Apollo? Well, I got your message. It's been a lot to take in. The simulation, everything's not real. It feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're gonna die anyway, and I've been thinking about that. If the problems of this universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes, I bet we'll have years before we die. What are you planning to do about it, man? I've been thinking a lot about it. How we couldn't meet even though we seem to be standing in the same place. I don't think we really were in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us. They transform us. They cut us through dimensions. That's what I think anyway. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds are really falling, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse after all. Later, man. I say goodbye, telling Apollo that I am on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will race me there. We speak of the memories we shared, that we did not know each other for very long, that we did not meet. They say they are proud to have worked with me. Goodbye, friend. Oh, that's so cool, though. And another data injection, huh? Right, so that's a fiery planet. Activated cadmium. Or cadmium. Uh, where's the other planet? I see there's one. Is there only one in this star system? No. That means these rings are huge, though. It's the only planet in this star system, for real? Oh my god, it really is. Alright, let's go here. What am I going to name this place, though? Uh, rename and upload. I guess I'll call it one. It's the only planet on here. It's actually insane, though. You know what? It's a fiery planet. I think I know what I'm gonna name it. As soon as I find some activated cadmium. Now what's interesting is there's no space station here. So I wonder if that means there's gonna be no buildings, no structures and stuff like that. There wouldn't even be any spaceships really now I think about it. Cause who would be out here if there's no space station to actually travel through? Oh, this is actually a really pretty planet, though. Not gonna lie. This place is gorgeous. Alright, activated cadmium? Anywhere? Or regular cadmium? Hmm. Ah. Oh, no. I hit my ship. A firestorm, you say? Ow, Jesus, what am I doing? Hmm. Let's just land here. 
See if I can find some cadmium. I need to make sure my multi-tool is recharged though, because I don't want to do this and then I don't have anything. Oh, that needed carbon, but whatever, that's two carbon. Firestorms, ever-present. Cadmium, phosphorus. Activated cadmium. Is there one that's closer? Storm crystals everywhere. Alright, whatever. I guess that's the closest one. A fireberry. Ooh, some storm crystals while I'm at it, since I'm here. Alright, so what I need to do is head over this way, land right next to the cadmium deposit, pick up a whole bunch, and then head back out into space. Where's the cadmium deposit? Oh, hey. There's a life. Or not. Oh, there you are. You're flying. Strange creatures. Alright, where's my cadmium deposit? What? Is it under this thing? The game lied. There's a cadmium deposit here. There's one over there. So I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, extreme storms. Oh gosh. Sentinel, 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 sentinel. You don't see me. Just broke my legs. Was that it? Oh, what? God, Caddy, you suck. Come on. All right, let me just walk as far away from you as I can. Jump back up, and we're out. We'll pick up these storm crystals since I'm right there. I still have no idea if they're actually used for anything. Phosphorus, hepatoid wheats, activated cadmium. Oh, wait, if that's the sign, I think it is. Hold on. Nope. I hate that song so much. It's this one Mega Man rap that some guy made. I don't like it. It sounds like pure garbage. Alright, but we're back. Alright, there we go. Hmm. I must refuel. I am battery. Also, one thing I did notice though, just by running through here with the two shields on, is my shield actually does deplete. So I'm guessing what was happening earlier when my shield just wasn't depleting was a bug. So that's unfortunate, but hey, two shields. I'm not gonna complain. I have to go through a crap ton of shield just to get through there. Or to get me to actually lose health. Ow. God, they're sentinels. Stay over there, Susan. 
Oh. There we go. Make a beeline for it. Come on. Put some pep in your step. Hopefully this is actually a decent amount. God, nighttime is short here. I feel like the nighttime lasted just a few minutes. There we go. Alright, that's fine. Let's see. I'd like to use the mining beam for these though. Alright, let's grab these and those and these and these and these and that and those right there. Awesome, let's bail. Alright, so as I have this extra long trek back to the starship, I decided to change up my build a little bit because, oh hey, you're new. It looks like the Ryzen 9 3900X, while it is fantastic and I would love to have my hands on one of those things, unfortunately is either going to be ridiculously hard to keep in stock or the price fluctuations are extremely high. And right now it's a mix of both because I haven't seen a single store have it in stock in several months, actually since release. Not Newegg, not Best Buy, not Amazon, not Walmart, nobody. Nobody has it in stock. And on top of that, the few people that do have it in stock are charging an exorbitant amount of money, 600, 700, 800 dollars. So I'm like, wait a minute, that's not even worth that then. I might as well just wait for the 3950X, it's gonna be 750 if I'm gonna be spending that type of money. And I don't need that many. Like, I don't need that kind of those kind of cores, I don't need that much uh, money thrown at the problem when I could get, you know, the 3800X, get better, uh, what was that, is a 12 core? If I'm remembering correctly, I'm not actually really stupid. I think it's gonna be a major upgrade for my Piddly Ryzen 5 2600 regardless. So, I don't really care how many cores it's going to have in that instance. I just know it's going to perform significantly better. Alright, so let's see if I can warp back home though. Can I? Or am I warping to a star system that maybe has life? Hey, stop. Here. It is Gek owned. Where, where am I going here? Morong's Anna. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this up real quick. I'm gonna head to the space station and then I can portal back to my base and do anything I need to there with the cadium. Genius. Awesome. Nano construction and death to it, and it's untroubled, so no battles. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Just take me into the space station, Danny. Another data injection. The Warong's Anna Station Beta. Hmm. I can filter these? Ah, oh, that's cool. Head to the Raj colony.
All right, let's go take the activated cadmium. Stick it inside this thing. Be purified for chromatic metal. I mean, can I take it? Can I just make you regular cadmium? How do I deactivate cadmium? I don't even know if that's a thing. Hmm. Okay, apparently that wasn't the right way to do it. So to make activated cadmium go to cadmium, I need chromatic metal anyway. Huh. All right, let's see if I can find another planet in the star system or nearby anyway. That is a red star with hopefully more planets. Let's see, galaxy map. What do you got? What do you got for me? Red stars. With more than one planet, perhaps. Pocatch, I've visited there? Or are you saying somebody's visited there? Oh, wait. I have been there. I really shouldn't do this, but why not? I could have just used the start the warp thing. Wait, I don't think there was a warp for Pocatch. If I remember correctly, this doesn't have uh space station. There, regular cadmium. You have ancient bones as well. Woodbury 6, Wine Dark. Ah, there we go. Nothing about Sentinels. That is perfectly fine by me. So, Pocatch was discovered by me. I should have named it Cash. Dang it. Whatever. Which is the one that has the ancient bones on it? It was when I was looking for a uranium based planet. Woodbury. Yeah, okay, that's the wine dark with ancient bones. And then Forfe Minor. Uh oh, I already uploaded that. Okay. So I just need to pick up the cadmium that's here. I get 250 cadmium. Then I can go ahead and make some wiring looms or buy some wiring looms. Either way works. And I can get myself the next starship engine, which will then allow me to jump to green star systems. And I got to get the emerald ones. And I can use that to jump to the, once I get enough emerald, I can use that to use to jump to green star systems. Or not green, uh, to blue star systems. Hmm. This is, I swear, this, this just takes forever to find some stuff on this planet. Let's just land here. Should be okay to traverse on the land. Angered clouds. You have angered the sun god. Eh, I don't really care. Alluring specimen? That's new. Yeah, I've scanned all you guys, I think. Or most of you guys. It's underwater. Hmm. And there's a cadmium deposit. Perfect. I'm gonna go check out this alluring specimen. What is so alluring?
Mm. Oh god, it's an abyssal horror. It lied, it lied, it lied, it lied. Evil. Oh my god, never again am I dealing with that. Learning specimens can bite me. I bet you there's another one around here somewhere. Armored clams. They're cool. They don't try to kill me. Hexaberry. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that cadmium deposit. This plant's pretty chill. I like it. Oodbury 6. You might be my vacation home. But, ooh. One thing I do remember. Oh, hey, birds. Scan it. Thank you. Oh, you're new too. Hello. I swear, this, this game is just distracting. But yeah, like I was going to say, um... One thing I definitely want to do over the next couple of weeks for Let's Chill is do more base editing and base building and possibly heading into the multiplayer section. Possibly with my friend Mendez or Yosefe. Okay, let me try that again. So one thing I definitely want to do over the next couple of weeks with Let's Chill No Man's Sky is hop into the multiplayer stuff with my friend Yosefe. God dang it. Hmm. What do I not need? Oh, I don't need all the storm crystals, that's for sure. There we go. Give me all that delicious cadmium. Or cadmium. I need to make a the next drive, because I already have my cadmium drive. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, I'm probably going to do multiplayer stuff coming up now so I can get some of the base building stuff done as well for uh, Quicksilvers and stuff like that because there is another type of uh, currency called Quicksilvers. You can use that to buy specific things from the online store, basically. And you can get some really cool base stuff in there. So I would definitely love to play with EOSF again just to get more Quicksilver and that stuff done so I could build an even nicer base. Because I've seen some of the stuff that players have built. Like, they have, like, outdoor gardens and that kind of stuff to me. It's gorgeous. And I would love to do something like that. Because what I want to try to do is, if I can, maybe build a base that's similar to a castle. And I would love to... Oh, seven short, really? Dang it. Not a single one here. That's over. That's the one I'm already at. Hepatoid wheats. Dang it. Gotta be another one close by. But yeah, I definitely want to try to get all that stuff in now. So that, that way, I can build a nicer base in the future. Like, I want to try to build either a castle or a mansion or something like that and give it like an outdoor garden. And I would love it to be on a lush planet like this, except with bigger forests. Like that, there's there's no forest here. Yeah. Man. What, fuck, what? No, I don't like this. None of that. There we go. That's the that's the chill stuff I like to hear. You're a Zubat. A really fast Zubat. Hi, buddy. Could, could you not, though? There we go. Let's see if I can find another cadmium deposit around here somewhere. Mm. Mm. Oh, wait. You know what I could do? I could just do this. Summon the ship. Fly to a random spot. And try to find another one. There we go. But 
let's bounce to where is the question I mean I could always just hit a completely different planet altogether what's out there what's this one what do you have gamma root cadmium irradioactive I'm trying not to die Same Ebos, Cadmium, Magnetized Ferrite. Ooh, a blood planet, though. You have regular Cadmium and high Sentinel activity. What about you? Mechanical planet. I kind of want to check this one out. Let's see what we get. This is not at all how this episode was supposed to go. This took way longer than it's supposed to. But you know what? I don't care. We got chill music in there. We got to explore some space. We got to see Apollo again. So I think the next episode is when I'll do the base building stuff and I'll do some of the multiplayer stuff so I can get that going. Ow. And then after that, we'll maybe start heading toward the Galactic Center. Because I don't know how the game is going to change after I do the whole galactic reset or the universal reset really so I want to at least make sure I get all the stuff that I want to do done before I do that also is there any land here oh my goodness uh yeah flying too fast isn't the problem there's no land is this an all ocean planet no way. There's got to be some land. There's got to be some land somewhere. If I keep flying this way, I'm going to bump into land eventually. Yeah, of course, landing's not clear. There's no land. There's got to be land somewhere. It's not underwater. Over here, maybe? Or is the game just not rendered the water that's on top of it yet? Because this is what happened last time. Oh no, this is actual land. Holy Jesus. This planet is insane. Or maybe it was just bugging out on me? I don't know. Whatever, we're here. Little butterflies. Allow me allow me to scan you. Allow me to scan you. Jesus. Y'all fly too fast. And it's a salt deposit. That's not what I need. That's what I need. And no. Natural burial site, pirate deposits, and requires orthodoxy. I don't know what that means. Uh, scan these. There we go. Hmm, more life. Why not? Bada boom. All right, well, that takes care of those guys. But yeah, I'm kind of excited, you know. I got my computer building coming up. That's gonna be soon. I've got a vacation coming up, but don't you worry, I do have, or I will have videos recorded ahead of schedule for that. Any possible days off I have, I will try to use those specifically for recording. So that, that way I can get way ahead of schedule. I'm gonna try to record like two to three days ahead on like a daily. So that, that way I can have my videos ready for the vacation, which should be in three weeks. And then after vacation, it's just right back to normal. But I'll try to make sure I have videos ready to go before the vacation. So that, that way you guys aren't deprived of my awesome voice. I, I know that was really conceited. I don't really think my voice is that awesome. 
I don't really think that much about myself, period. But I digress. That's not important right now. What I definitely want to do is when I build my computer, I want to try to have videos also ready ahead of time for that. So that way when I go and start building it, because since it'll take me probably a day, maybe a few hours throughout the day, I want to have the video already done and ready to go. And then I want to test everything, make sure everything runs smoothly. So hopefully that all goes well. Now, if I, if I end up having enough to do the water cooling stuff, you know, an extra six, $700 tucked away somewhere, then at that point, it'll, it'll be even longer of a wait because I have to wait a whole day to do the water leak test and all that. Those are birds. Those are the birds I already got. But yeah, I want to get all that stuff sorted and set up and ready to go before I leave. So it's going to be a busy next couple of weeks just to make sure that I have everything ready. But I don't mind. I actually do love playing these games and I do love just making commentary, even if it's not much. Like the Let's Chill series has never been about me talking and guiding you through every little thing that happens. It's just chill, just relaxing, farming and getting stuff that I want to get like the Quicksilver stuff. That's going to be the next episode. So it sucks that I couldn't get to the the other two drives that I wanted, but I'll probably do those off screen because it's going to be more of the same. Ow. Hmm. I think I will go ahead and end this episode off here. There's not much to do right now other than building those drives. I'll build the drives off screen. That way I can go ahead and just start warping around, getting stuff done. And I'll prepare my friend for next week for doing the multiplayer stuff with me. So, other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Chill No Man's Sky. If you like today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And join the Curly Crew. And I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.